So we started with a focus around solar. It's our core competency. And Phase Solar in particular has been deployed into 5 million homes in about 160 countries worldwide. We have taken that notion of a solar microinverter system and expanded beyond that. We added batteries to it and we have added EV chargers to it. And here we are at the next frontier, which is bi-directional EV chargers, which means you can take power out of the car to power your home or export energy into the grid. Let's take the most basic use case. A homeowner buys a car and they want to use it to provide backup and export into the grid at the time of great demand. That can be done with just two components. You buy the Enphase bi-directional EV charger and you buy this little device called the MID. If there's a homeowner that doesn't want to invest in solar, doesn't want to invest in stationary batteries, they want resiliency or backup capability and they want the ability to sell to the grid, you can go with this device called the microgrid interconnect device. It's a small isolation device that sits underneath your meter. Its job is to sense when the grid fails. It opens up or isolates the home from the grid and tells the car to start powering the home instead of the grid. And all of this happens, this entire transaction happens completely seamlessly. Plus, I don't want to forget the use case. I can provide power to the grid from my EV in the event the grid needs it and get appropriately compensated for it. You can see in real time exactly where the power is coming from to power your home. Whether it's your solar and your battery providing the power or you're getting power from the grid, all of that is visible in a beautiful, engaging app that runs on your phone. But there's one more important use case that the car can serve, which is to increase your ability to self-consume. Because there are times when the grid is very expensive. And if you have a car that's present, I can take all the excess electrons that my solar system generating and charge up my car. It's not just solar and stationary batteries anymore. It's now solar, stationary batteries, the bi-directional EV, as well as managing the power flow from the grid. We train our AI models based on that data and we forecast what your generation is going to be. How much solar are you going to produce tomorrow? what your consumption is going to be. When do we charge your batteries, stationary batteries? When do we charge your car? When do we discharge your batteries? When do we discharge your car? When do you buy from the grid? When do you sell to the grid? All of that look requires very sophisticated prediction algorithms, prediction software, and software to manage all of these resources. So what's inside the bi-directional EV charger that makes it so great? So inside it, we have three 3.84 kilowatt in bi-directional inverters for a total of 11.52 kilowatts. The two core components of that, one is our own custom ASIC. It's completely software defined. And all of this in a very sophisticated mechanical package that doesn't need any active cooling. Just makes the product that much more reliable. We operate all of our components, solar, batteries, EV charger, et cetera, in the AC domain or in standard household wiring, which is 240, 120 volts, 60 hertz in the US. It's a, what's called AC coupled. One of the key decisions that we made as we were developing the bi-directional EV charger was we want it to be completely standards compliant, both on while well, talking and interacting with the car as well as standards compliant as it pertains to talking and interacting with the grid. We avoided any proprietary communication technology between the bi-directional EV charger and the grid and the bi-directional EV charger and the car. We expect that the interoperability between our bi-directional EV charger and all the cars is going to be completely seamless. So what's the future? It's today. We know the demand is unprecedented. And we have all the pieces of the puzzle, all the software to tie all of this together to deliver a most resilient system for the homeowner and also help the grid out in times of great need. So the future is here.